-hmm. All right. All right. We are live. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Wifey Wednesday. It's your girl, Michelle Kanan, also known as the Satisfied Wife. Feeling a little mellow today, so we'll see what wants to come through me, but I see that people are already popping on. So if you are here live, say hello, leave a comment. Let me know that you're here. If you're watching the replay, don't forget to do hashtag replay, hashtag reslay, whatever makes you feel your absolute finest. Cause today we're talking about one of my favorite topics <laughs> because I am a bitch that loves to have it all. Okay. Like I just, I like getting what I want. Call me spoiled, call me demanding, call me whatever you want to call me. I don't care. It's probably been said about me before on the internet or behind my back someplace. That's okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> part of who I am, part of what my energy about is that I get really clear on what I want and then I get it. And I love that. I love that for me. And that's also why I do the work that I do for other women as a relationship success coach. So if you're a woman that loves to have it all, that's what we're going to be talking about today, how to actually have it all, the secret to having it all. So if that is you, hi, leave a comment right away. Okay. I want you to say me, 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 me. I want it all. Me. I'm that kind of woman. Me. I'm a woman that knows what she wants and she gets it. Just like, let's claim it right now. Like, this is part of what I love to do is let my clients and or just let all the women in my community that are getting to know me experience the shift that you want right away, even on this like live video that you just happen to probably like stumble across. So leave a comment and say me, I want it all. I'm that kind of woman. And if you do, if you do, I'll know that you are my kind of bitch. OK, and I'll know that I can talk to you and I can give you the real real, okay? Because I know that a lot of us see all over social media, everybody like bragging, right? About stuff. Like in some groups, I mean, everyone's like bragging all the time or their future bragging about like all the things that they want or all the things that they have, or you know, right? Social media is so good at bullshit. Social media is all about just like only sharing the good stuff, right? Like only sharing when good things happen, only sharing those picture perfect moments, right? Like we've all seen it. Yes, I'm seeing right now. I want to ride the waves of making demands and stop settling. Okay, this is exciting because I'm going to teach you. This was my energy for a long time was being very demanding. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a little bit of like my hack or my trick for how to get what you want, right? This video is called The Secret to Having It All, right? And how to not only have it all, but how to have it in a way that feels really damn good for you, right? Because I don't know if you've ever been in this position, but if you're a go-getter, if you're a goal getter, if you're a lady boss, if you're like hustling for your dreams, if you're building all the time, if you're busy, right? You're doing a lot of things. You feel really motivated to create what you want in this life, whether it's the business that you want or the income that you want or the lifestyle that you want or the legacy that you want or the body that you want, right? The women that are in my sphere, the women that are attracted to what I teach and to my energy are women just like me that see, have their eye on the prize, know what they want, and then they go after it, okay? So if you're that kind of person, leave me a comment. I go after what I want, right? Let's get that energy. That's good. But Here's the rub, okay? I knew how to do that. I've learned my whole life how to go after my goals, how to get everything that I want, okay? It was modeled to me by my parents. My family are, were refugees. My family is from another country, from a communist country. They came here with nothing. They built lives, like claimed all the opportunities possible that this country has to offer. Like they built from being in a, in a world, in like a reality where you couldn't even own anything right? Like communism, you couldn't own anything to having like this American dream story. And they showed me and they demonstrated along the way how to make that possible, right? We see examples of that all around us, like people building their dreams lives from nothing. And it looks so good, right? It looks so good to take a picture of our beautiful cars and our beautiful houses and rolling around in money and all that kind of stuff. Like I totally get that. But <laughs> what a lot of people don't talk about is what it feels like 
When you're climbing that ladder, when you're working hard for your goals, or the even crazier thing is what it feels like when you get that thing and you don't feel the way that you thought that you were going to feel, right? So many of us are working so hard to get what we want and it doesn't feel good on the journey there. And then when we get the thing, we don't even celebrate or we don't even like let it really sink in. We're already like on to the next thing, right? We're already like, okay, great. I did that, but I still don't have this and I still don't have that. And I might have this, but now all these people are like, even past this, like one hot topic, I don't know if you guys see this in your feed all the time, I'm thankfully not a business coach, okay? But I see in business coaching all the time, first it's, you know, make a 5K a month, then make 10K a month, then make 100K a month, like then make a million dollars, like let's go, let's go, let's go, right? It's always on to the fucking next thing. But what a lot of these people aren't talking about is what is the point and what's going on when that journey doesn't feel good. Right? Like so many of us are working so hard and we're sacrificing our health. Right? We're sacrificing our time. We're sacrificing our joy. We're sacrificing our relationships to hit these benchmarks, to hit these next levels of success, to get to this place where in our minds we're like, oh, if I get there, when I get there, everything's going to be amazing. But here's the thing. If it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel the way that you want it to feel on the way there, it's not going to be any different once you get there. Ask me how I know. I know this because I spent so much of my life, right, before I started my own companies, before I was a healer and a relationship success coach, before I was self-employed, I spent over a decade in the corporate world. And I climbed that ladder. Oh, I was this bitchy New York City girl. Like, I just, like, made success after success after success. I had two cell phones. I had a BlackBerry for all you uh, millennials, millennials out there, and a phone. Like, I was crushing it. I had a closet full of shoes. I owned my apartment. I was dating all that time. I was going out. Everything was so good. My body was tight, all that kind of stuff. But it was never enough. It was never enough. And so then I left that world behind. I was like, I don't need any more shoes. I'm making so much money. I don't need this. This isn't making me happy. Let me go do my next thing, okay? But then I set up my life and my businesses to keep hitting those goals, and I still wasn't freaking happy. I still didn't feel good because I was taking the lessons of hustling, of goal getting, of achieving those milestones, and I was making that the only priority instead of realizing what I realize now, which is what I want to talk to you about today, right? Is that the secret to having it all is not actually having all of those things, but about feeling good, feeling really fucking good while you're getting them, while you're making them possible, while you're on the journey, okay? And so many of us don't know how to do that. Because we watched the people in our lives, we watched our family, we watched our predecessors, we've also watched in society what people are doing and just like the objectification of the goal, right? Like, oh, and so when I have that, it'll feel amazing. But the truth is, if you're not building your business, if you're not building your relationship, if you're not creating a structure in your life that feels good, it's not going to feel good once you get those things. I've had things, crazy things, like moving into my dream home or having like a $40,000 cash month or whatever, you know, whatever is your milestone. I've seen it. I've experienced it. Okay, opening my own businesses, opening my own spaces, um, opening new new locations of my business, all those things, all those dreams. I've had those dreams. But when I wasn't doing it in a way that felt good, it didn't matter when I hit those goals, no matter what it looked like on social media. No matter how great I positioned it or how great I thought it was going to be. And it took me having to stop. Okay. It takes my clients because this is who I work with. I work with powerful women like me, like you, that love making our dreams come true. But there's this little switch that we have to make because we get so obsessed and so fixated and work so hard and become so hyper-focused on making those dreams come true, hitting those markers 
not realizing <laughs> that the way that we're doing it, the structures that we're creating and how we're treating our families and what we're doing in our personal lives along the way, if it's out of alignment, if it doesn't feel how we want to feel, that success is not going to be long lived. Those businesses are not going to work long time. It's going to have terrible effects on our relationships and on the way that we parent, if some of you are mothers out there. And then we're going to be resentful of a system or of a structure outside of ourselves that isn't supporting us, okay, in, in having what we want and feeling good. But that needs to come from within. That needs to come from within. And the secret to having it all, okay, when you understand this, means that you get to have your dreams come true, means that you get to experience those milestones. But even if you don't, or even along the way, everything feels gravy. Everything feels in alignment. Everything feels like it's all working out for me. And I trust that it's all happening for me. And this is just the road that I'm taking and everything that I'm learning and all the people, everything's lining up to give me everything that I want. And that's the secret to having it all. That's the secret to feeling like a real success. Because maybe you've heard, maybe you haven't, but there's a hell of a lot of millionaires and billionaires out there that are miserable. There's a hell of a lot of people out there that have it all and they're lonely <laughs> and they're unhealthy and they're unbalanced and they have shitty relationships and they know how to be successful, right? They know how to like get all of those wins in life and they sure as hell know how to post about it in social media so other people can see it, am I right? But behind the scenes, when the computer's closed, when the phone gets put down, they're not happy. They're not feeling good. They haven't built lives and structures and invested in their relationships in a way that makes all of that success worth it. Now, in the past, when my clients come to me, it's because they've made that mistake. They found a level of success or a level of achievement and they've like unlocked that code, unlocked that secret. But their relationships have suffered. They've grown apart from their husbands or from their boyfriends or from their partners. Their friendships have suffered. Their lives have suffered, right? Everything has gone into making what they wanted to come true on paper. But the reality of it didn't feel good. Maybe you've been in that position. And if you have, please share it in the comments. There's no shame. I know that I've been in that position and I've seen it over and over and over again because we are not being taught as empowered women, right? We're being taught how to lean in and how to hustle and how to work harder and how to push and how to be goal getters and boss ladies and like get all those wins, right? But all of those wins are empty and meaningless if we don't have love in our lives, if we don't have anybody to celebrate that with, if we don't have a life that feels great when we shut off the computer and disconnect. And that's why so many of us stay busy, stay hustling, stay attached to our phones, to our social media. And so many women, so many are sitting on their couches next to their husbands watching TV. But like, miles apart. It's like you don't, you're not even in the same room. The disconnect is so strong and so palpable. And I know that you want it to be different. Okay. I know that you want to have success in a way. I know that when you say, I want to have it all, I have it all. What you mean is that you have the money in the bank. You have the amazing business. You feel great about yourself. You have a dope relationship. And it all feels really good. It all feels the way that you want it to feel. So if that's what you want, okay, I want you to say I claim it. I claim having it all in a way that feels really damn good for me. Like say it because most of us are busy wanting to have it all and we're ignoring how we really want to feel. We're ignoring the kind of experience that we want to have. We're ignoring whether the path to getting what we want is lighting us up or if it's draining all of our energy, if it's adding to our lives or if it's taking away the things that truly, truly matter most for us. And I am so passionate about this. This is so important because I see so many women complaining and struggling and, and feeling frustrated, feeling super frustrated because you've worked so hard to be where you are, but all of the pieces around you are not in place to make you feel the way that you want to feel. 
that your relationship isn't structured, that your partnership with your man isn't structured in a way that you feel uplifted, you don't feel supported, you don't feel loved and accepted, but you do feel that way in your work, in your business, right? So off you go back to hustling, back to building your empire because you have the secret there, right? You know that, but that's not everything. Your business isn't everything. Why do we even do our businesses, right? Like, yeah, we wanna make money and be free and all those things because we wanna feel good and we wanna have a great life. And part of that means having it all means, meaning that is one part of all of the beautiful things that your life is comprised of. So important, so, so important. I want you to claim that right now. I claim having it all in a way that feels really good for me. Mm. Most of us don't even think about how we wanna feel. We don't think about what's possible. We are just doing things that we've been trained to do that have been modeled for us by past generations, by our family member, by, women that are around us, by society around us, but we have to break free out of that. And I know that it's hard. I, I know that it's hard. It, it can feel like a struggle because if you don't have examples of what that looks like in your life, right? If you don't see examples of other women out there that are being the mothers that they want at the same time as being the business women that they want, that are having amazing relationships with their husbands and they're also kicking ass in their careers that are making boku dollars like so much money and feeling so good about the way that they're making their money instead of feeling drained or depleted or like the world is on their shoulders like if you don't have examples of other women around that expanders that are expanding your mind for what's possible for you of course you're going to fall back into the ways of doing things the way that you know how, instead of doing things the way that actually feel good for you and are part of creating the life and the business and the relationship that you want for yourself. So many women are operating from a paradigm, are operating from a programming really of understanding only what's possible, like how we can build businesses and have families and be moms based on how we see other women around us doing it. And most of those women, most women are stuck in situations and struggles, right? Especially in corporate settings, especially when they're first building their businesses. Hey, Baroni, where they're doing things the way the system has taught you to do things, but it's not what makes you feel good. And then we buy the lie that if we just work harder, if we just make more money, if we just become more successful, it'll feel better, it'll become easier, but it doesn't. It's just more of the same, but just at scale. More of the same, but just you have a better title or you have a bigger paycheck or you have more clients, but it doesn't matter, right? Because you still feel like, hey, your life, your business, your relationship isn't set up in a way that feels good for you. And you don't understand, in, and you start to see on social media when other women are bragging about it, that they must be lying, right? That can't be real, right? No woman out there can actually have it all, right? And we saw that from like Lean In, that book Lean In, right where Sheryl Sandberg was like just work harder just do more and you'll be great but it wasn't the whole truth right because she had so many people behind her helping her and this big income and all that kind of stuff but listen you don't have to be Sheryl Sandberg you don't have to be some like crazy billionaire CEO founder out there you can actually have what you want right now you can have it all right now and the secret is not about when you make more money the secret is not about when you become more successful the secret even isn't when your husband gets off of his butt and actually like starts doing laundry or helping you more or, like stepping up more no those are all excuses those are all great reasons why you can't have it right now but I want to show you, I want to teach you what you can do, how you can have that right now. And the first step, the most important thing that you can do is get really fucking clear, not just on the milestones, not just on the amount of money that you want to make every month, not just on what your husband is supposed to be doing or how much weight you're supposed to lose or whatever is in the future. You need to get fucking clear right now okay, what you want and how you want it to feel. You need to get really clear now on how you want to live your life, what feels really good for you, and you need to start making sure that that becomes a priority, 
Okay, not just when you're making X amount of dollars and then you can hire your babysitter and then you can hire this person and then you can pay for ads and then you can pay for a nutritional coach and buy a new wardrobe, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. If you keep thinking like that, of course you can never do anything now. What you need to do is figure out right now what you're putting up with, what you're agreeing to, what you're swallowing to martyr yourself, to give yourself the experience that actually you freaking hate. Because as long as you're in that zone, as long as you're in that resentment place, in that agreeing to what doesn't feel good for you place, into saying yes when you really want to say no or no when you really want to say yes, that is the secret for why you don't have it all. That's it. That's it. I know it's so crazy. Every business coach will tell you <laughs> what you have to do your strategy or you have to do this thing first or whatever. Yes, all of that stuff is super important. You know, as a business owner, I needed to figure out all that kind of stuff. But I needed to start figuring out the pieces of my life and how to set up my life and my relationship with my husband and to communicate to him what it is that I needed and how I needed it in a way that felt really good for me and that also empowered him to be able to show up as my partner too. In order for you to have what you want, the secret to having it all is making sure that you are starting to set up your life and all the structures in your life in a way that feels really good for you, really aligned for you, and that is able to be the base for you creating all of those things that you want. Otherwise, you're just going to be in that trap again. You're going to be your own worst boss. You're going to be blaming everybody else for why you can't have what you want. <laughs> you're going to feel burnt out. You're going to feel resentful. You're going to feel like it's never going to be your turn. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. In fact, it's amazing that the secret is <laughs> feeling good now. Feeling good now. And I love to tell my clients, you don't need to eat, pray, love your way out of this. Okay. You don't need to divorce your husbands and like run away to Italy and eat a shit ton of pasta and like marry a, a, a masseuse in Bali. If you want to, you can totally do that. But you don't have to blow up your lives in order to have that. You just get to, you get to, right? Start doing things, making choices, doing practices, taking opportunities that make you feel good now, that light you up now, that turn you on now. That's right. That's all you get to do. Isn't that cool? But I know I get it. It's hard. What do you do? What are you supposed to do? Your kids up are up at six in the morning and the emails are unanswered and you have this like billion long list of to do's and, and you're not some kind of like, you know, person that has lots of free time and like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Listen, I want you to send me a message because my Turn On Your Virginius program has just opened doors. We're still in early bird right now, which means that you get a bonus spot in a private chat group with me, um, as well as I think we have one bonus spot left for a free 30 minute uh, breakthrough, Virginius breakthrough call with me. Turn On Your Virginius is a incredible 21 day activation program where every day for 21 days you get a prompt a practice a meditation a thought starter something juicy that you get to do every day for 21 days and you all know what happens if for 21 days you start to make these little changes you activate your inner radiance you feel totally turned on you feel magnetic as fuck you feel so good and when you are of a genius, when you are totally connected to your genius, that's when you start making choices from your pleasure, from your desire, from your inspiration, instead of from your obligation and from what isn't working for you and from what you have to do. And it's so easy. This is so easy. Not only is this like, the most accessible way to work with me live, but it's the easiest, simplest way to start making these shifts now. And it's my freaking gold Black Friday offer, which means it's at a hella discount right now, like stupid discount. If you want it, you can just shoot me a DM and I'll send you the link, super simple. Uh, or you go to my website, Michelle Kinnan, which is my name right there, dot com slash Vigenius. Um, or you can go to my profile, it's in the it's in the banner photo, click the link. Being a Vigenius feels so good. Because when you're acting from that place of pleasure, when you're acting from that place of feeling good and doing what you wanna do, that's when everything starts to happen. So I get it. Focus on your goals. You you be a goal getter. You be a, you be that girl that's like getting what they want and what they need. That's totally cool. 
but do not forget, okay, to switch off from just focusing on business, switch off from just focusing on strategy, switch off from just focusing on buying the car, buying the shoes, buying the house, losing the weight, and do what really feels good for you. Because when you're tuned into that energy, when you're connected with yourself in that way, that's when things start to happen, but in a way that feel good for you, in a way that feels nourishing for you, in a way that feels rich for you, expansive, exciting for you. And when you're operating from that place, that's when life is awesome, right? That's when like all of the achievements just become like a freaking bonus prize because you're feeling amazing, right? And that's when everything starts to get better and better and better, okay? So I want you to grab, right, our early bird right now. It's open right now. Um, if you want the link, just shoot me a DM or I'm gonna post it in the comments below. Get on this, bitches, okay? I want you to feel like a freaking vagenius every day where all of the amazing things that happen are just like bonus, like it just is happening for you because you're so turned on that like magic is just showing up in your life all the time. You're not operating from anxiety, from burnout, from obligation. You're operating from your inspiration and from your pleasure. And I just want to make it really easy for you. So come hang out with me and the amazing women that are turning turn on your Virginius that are joining this program. 21 days, we start December 1st. And I want to see you there. Sign up now for early bird, okay? Love you guys. Bye.